Hello everyone, uh, Tim here. Thanks again for joining me. And uh, today we're going to tie together our previous tutorials uh, from current and uh, voltage and resistance and resistors. And we're going to tie it together in probably what is one of the most important concepts in all electronics. It's a very basic concept, but it's uh, so important in uh, circuit analysis. And uh, that is Ohm's Law. So let's get started. Thanks for joining me. Today's tutorial is going to be on Ohm's Law. Now, we um, this should tie together our previous tutorials on um, circuit current, voltage, resistors, and resistance. Ohm's Law, I can't really think of anything that would be more basic or, or more important than understanding the concept of Ohm's Law. So what is Ohm's Law? It is a relationship between voltage and current in an ideal conductor. Now this relationship states that the uh, potential difference or voltage across an ideal conductor is proportional to the current going through it. The constant of this proportionality uh, between voltage and current in an ideal conductor is what we call resistance. What is resistance? Resistance is the voltage divided by the current. Now Ohm's Law Triangle, this is a very handy way and a uh, very handy tool of finding a missing variable. By manipulating Ohm's Law, any one of the three variables can be determined. So let's take an example of that. Let's find the missing value for the uh, circuit current here in this uh, very basic circuit. So we're going to take our um, Ohm's Law Triangle and we see that center triangle shows that uh, the missing variable I is can be derived from taking V over R. So if we take the uh, looking for I, we got 18 volts and we divide it by 3 ohms. That gives us our circuit current is 6 amps. Take another example here quickly. Uh, find the missing voltage. So we get our triangles up and we see our very first triangle V equals I times R. So we know that um, the I is 2 amps and the R is 13 ohms. Our V is 26 volts. Now energy, we talked about that in a, a previous tutorial. And we'll just go over it again quickly because it, uh, it does lead and in, tie into uh, power. So when energy is converted from mechanical energy to electrical energy, uh, work is said to be done. Energy is the ability to do work. That's uh, how we define it. So there's two different types of energy. Uh, kinetic energy, and that's possessed by a body by virtue of its motion. A speeding car, a thrown ball, a moving train, something of that nature. Uh, that would be a good definition of kinetic energy. Potential energy is possessed by a system by virtue of its position. A coiled spring, a large boulder at the edge of a cliff. Uh, that would be an example of uh, potential energy. Anything that's, that's raised up uh, to a height that would be like gravity potential there. Uh, SI unit for work is the joule and uh, brings us to power. Now power is defined as the rate at which work is done or energy expended. The electrical unit of measure for power is the watt or W and we're all pretty familiar with that. We look and we know wattage of our microwave ovens or hair dryers, uh, uh, and especially like light bulbs, we see, we see that all the time in our homes. And uh, where P equals power in watts, where that power equals W divided by T, the W stands for work in joules, and T for time in seconds. The watt, one watt of power is expended when one amp of direct current flows through resistance of one ohm. So if we look at that in equation form, P equals E times I, where P is the power dissipated in watts, E is the applied voltage in watts, and I is the current flow in amps. We'll find another really handy tool. Besides the triangle, there is Ohm's Law Wheel. And I really like this. Uh, use it all the time. If you start doing circuit problems, and uh, we'll, we'll get into those in, in future tutorials, you will use this over and over again. So uh, it's um, it's a lot broader than the the triangle, the the Ohm's law wheel, or some call it the power wheel. You can look; it's broke down into four different quadrants. There, you have amps, volts, power, and ohms. And uh, if you have any one of those missing uh, 
variables are if you any know any two variables there and, and you're looking for the one um, you can find it quite easily using uh, the Ohm's law wheel we have I equals uh, P over E or I equals E over R or I equals the root of P over R and you can see you can do the same with the uh, voltage and uh, resistance and power so let's take something it, we haven't got into the circuits yet. Let's take something we can all wrap our head around uh, that is amps in our home. So if we want to take a typical home branch circuit, say we had one like a 15 amp breaker and you could use that on something like lighting. Typically they use like 20 amps on uh, receptacles, but um, this is just an example. So we'll take a uh, total wattage capacity is 15 amps times 120 volts equals 1800 watts. Now there's always a safety or a fudge factor that you want to calculate in there. So we take the safety wattage capacity as 1800 watts and we always multiply that by 80%. It gives us 1440 watts and our safe amperage would be 15 amps times the, the same factor. 80% gives us 12 amps. So let's do a little example here. <clears throat> Say we're going to remodel a basement and we want to light the whole basement and see we want to see if we can do that on one circuit so we have a total of eight light fixtures to do all the rooms in the basement and uh, each light has three uh, bulbs 360 watt bulbs for a total of eight 180 watts each light fixture now we take the eight light fixtures times 180 watts equals 1440 watts and uh, we take our equation here and uh, our P is 1440 watts divided by E, the 120 volts, which is your standard household voltage. And that gives us 12 amps. Well, we look at our previous example, um, we know that the 12 amps, um, if we took 15 uh, amps times 80%, it's 12 amps. Yes, we could do that whole uh, lighting of our basement off of one, um, one 15 amp breaker. So. That's a pretty well, that good example. Our uh, tutorial on Ohm's Law. It's a very basic concept, but so important. And now I believe it's going to give us the necessary tools for our next uh, tutorial, and that will be on series circuits. See you then.